Hey Bearcat fans, welcome to another edition of This Week in Bearcat Athletics. Well, the football team will go for a record win this weekend when they travel to Hayes, Kansas. The volleyball team, they'll be closing out their regular season right here at Bearcat Arena with five matches at home. And Northwest Women's Soccer has closed its season as well. More on that coming up on This Week in Bearcat Athletics. It was more than you would usually ask for on a homecoming. A great crowd, perfect weather, career performances, a school record tying win, and a play at the end of the first half that garnered a ton of national attention, including topping ESPN's SportsCenter Best of the Day. The play saw an interception by Kevin Berg that was lateraled several times before the Mizzou transfer, Harold Brantley, took control and crossed the goal line for a touchdown. If you haven't had a chance to watch the play, you can find it on BearcatSports.com. Quarterback Kyle Zimmerman was named MIAA Offensive Player of the Week after going 19 of 21 passing for a career-high 385 yards, and he set single-game school records with six passing touchdowns and seven total touchdowns. The win tied the school record for most consecutive wins, but right now that doesn't mean much to the team. Head coach Adam Dorrell says they are more worried about preparing for Fort Hayes State. Yeah, well, the, I think the first thing we've got to do, we got to be ready for the environment. They're undefeated at home. It's going to be a great environment. Um, it's senior day for those guys, and they've played well at home all year. I think that's the first thing we have to do. Uh, after that, number 97, he's a young man that transferred from Simon Frazier. Uh, extremely, extremely talented young man, plays the nose tackle spot. And then Saido, number nine, I think he's got 13 sacks on the year. So it really starts with identifying those two guys. Uh, they almost lull you to sleep. They don't blitz a ton, then they blitz, and they're effective when they do it. Um, they really blitzed us last year a lot, and we didn't handle the pressure well. So we'll we'll try to prepare for that. And then uh, they're like us. They got a little little bit of little flavor from Florida in the back end, and they've got some really good DBs. So it's going to be a good matchup. And um, they're just I have a lot of respect for Chris. I've known him a long time. They they have a. He's got a very tough blue-collar football team, so it's going to be a great game. A win for the Cats in their final road game of the regular season would put last year's team and this year's team in the record books for most consecutive wins. Kickoff from Hayes, Kansas is set for 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It was a tough trip to Kansas for the Northwest Missouri State Volleyball team last weekend, but the team is set up to have a strong finish with their last five matches of the regular season at Bearcat Arena. Last Friday, the Cats were swept at Washburn and lost a five-set match at Emporia State Saturday. It's the first time this season the Cats have lost back-to-back, -back, now with a 21-4 and record overall. Head coach Amy Wirth says not only is it important to have the last five at home, but the opponents they will be playing will Will be important in terms of trying to get good position for the MIAA postseason tournament. You know the five teams we have left they're all going to be you know good matches from the standpoint of competitive you know we don't we don't have any team that we feel like we can just not play that night you know and, and that's a big story of the MIAA but especially these next five matches and I think the, if you really look at them, that's what you want it to be. At the end of the season, you want to be playing the best people because it's going to get you ready for the postseason. I'd much rather have that than playing a, a schedule that, you know, the team hasn't won a match the whole entire, you know, conference season. So I like it. I think it really puts the focus back on, like, all the things sometimes when you face adversity and you're hurting or, you know, school gets in the way, all those things that kind of tend to crop up at the end where it's kind of the grind. I think these are the types of weeks, that, you know, these next couple of weeks that really snap you back into focus from the standpoint of what we really need to do. Northwest will face the third ranked team in the country Friday when they take on Nebraska Kearney, then Saturday match up with Fort Hayes State before a match Tuesday with Missouri Western. The Bearcat women's soccer team closed out its season on the road last week with losses to Missouri Western and Lindenwood. The Bearcats took an early lead against Western when Danielle Wolf scored her fourth goal of the season on an assist from Izzy Romano, but Western would score one in each half to take the win. Romano would turn around Sunday and score the lone Northwest goal in a 3-1 loss at Lindenwood. An injury-plagued season came to an end for Northwest with a 4-12-1 overall record. They were 2-9 in the MIAA. 
After a week off last week, the men's and women's cross-country teams will be back at it this weekend as part of the NCAA Central Region Championships in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The top four teams in each race will advance to nationals along with the three fastest individuals not on one of those teams. Nationals will be held two weeks later in St. Leo, Florida. Your chance to get a first look at the Northwest Missouri State men's and women's basketball teams comes Thursday night at Bearcat Arena. The Cats will hold their annual basketball bash with fun contests and introduction of this year's teams. Earlier this week, the men's team, which had already been picked to win the MIAA, was selected sixth in the NABC preseason national poll. The men's team opens the season November 11th in St. Joseph against Upper Iowa, while the women's team will be in Bolivar to face Wachita Baptist. That's this week in Bearcat Athletics. For producer Andrew Sherry, I'm Matt Gorder.